what happened in crypto today need to know what happened in crypto today here is the latest news on daily trends and events impacting bitcoin price blockchain DeFi, nft web3 and crypto regulations nearly half of all cryptocurrency loss to exploit is due to web3 flaw in other news Commerce Bank say it's the first full service German bank will be granted a crypto custody license. Meanwhile, the United States Securities Regulatory is not likely to change its stance on spot Bitcoin exchange traded funds. According to analysis from blockchain security platform, Immunify 46% of the cryptocurrency lost via exploit is due to traditional Web2 flaw. These infrastructure weaknesses as opposed to smart contract flaws accounted for a large share of all losses. The report covered cryptocurrency exploits from 2022, excluding data from exit scams and frauds. According to its author, in 2022, we saw uh, heavy losses across the Web3 ecosystem. Of this was lost to hacks across 134 specific incidents. German Commerce Bank has been granted a cryptocurrency license by a local regulators, according to an announcement released by Lander on November 15. Commerce Bank said it was a full-service German bank to be granted this license in the country under the legal framework of the German Banking Act. This allowed it to offer custody of crypto assets and will enable it to offer further digital assets services. The U.S. Security and Exchange Commission is not likely to sway on its decision on approve on delay or support Bitcoin ETF after XRP jumped and then dumped on a faked filing suggestion BlackRock was creating on XRP Trust. Bloomberg ETF analyst Eric told Cointelegraph that incident is not a good look and added, truth added that it could validate the SEC believe that crypto markets are easily manipulated. There is no doubt it is a bad look that arguably validates a fraud and manipulation that the SEC has SEC used as a ground of or past denial. I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel.